The functions of the CMU are the call review button, press this once to silence without erasing the call memory, or to review the last six calls. The volume button, which is used to control the volume of the central monitor by allowing you to scroll through three volume options. The language button, which allows you to scroll through 11 language options and three tone options. The replace add button allows you to add another component to the CMU. This component will program on the next available number, and this button will be used in conjunction with the record add button. This button will also be used in conjunction with the call review button in order to replace a component on the system. The record add button is used for initial programming or will be used to program the CMU if it comes unprogrammed. If the unit becomes unprogrammed, you will see numbers scrolling across the screen. This button will also be used in conjunction with the replace add button to add additional components on the next available number. The reset button is used to reset the CMU from calls and silence the alarm. The unlocked lock switch, which is located on the side of the CMU, is used to put the CMU into the programming position or the normal operating mode. The speaker slot on the side of the monitor can be used to silence the CMU if pagers are being used. The programming light, which is located on the front of the CMU, indicates that the CMU is in programming mode. The antenna should be extended fully to ensure best possible reception for all components and for signal to be sent to the 433PGD or the 433PG. The DC input adapter is to be used for the additional AC adapter and can be used to power the CMU instead of batteries. The manufacturer does recommend that you keep 4C batteries as a backup in the CMU in case of a power failure. 